so hello everyone in this video we will be working on this landing page and also we will be creating the navigation bar and we also be modifying this so first of all uh, let me just create one more folder which is components and inside that I will be creating a simple navigation dot uh, jsx file let me just for now name it as navigation only uh, I think navbar would be fine navbar navbar okay now what I can do is inside uh, the landing page I'll be importing this uh, navigation component or navbar component I can import that and also in this I'll be creating a simple section which says landing for now let's say uh, one div for the text the other div is for uh, the image let me just write something okay now if I see the browser you can see we have this navbar and the landing page now I'll be copying out uh, the code from the uh, app which I already created so to save time and I will be discussing about that code again so because I have I don't have to write the CSS again so for that I am doing this so now here I will be pasting this so if I do this now landing I have to import so I can co also copy the assets folder which is this one I can copy this so asset folder contains the images that I will be using in this complete application I can paste that inside the SRC folder you'll find all these things uh, in the github repository you can also get that and after that uh, what I can do is I can import these other things which I am using such as link so because I'm making the link available and then I can also import the landing image landing from the assets folder uh, to folders Mac and landing dot jpg yeah and I also have to create the CSS file for this so I'll be creating landing dot module dot CSS and in the landing I have to import this module.css file why I'm using module.css or module.css file because uh, for that if I use the uh, global CSS that way that will work uh, I have to I don't have to repeat this CSS like if I want to use the same class in any other file that I can use without any problem if I use module CSS because this CSS class name in like is it is whenever it is served in the browser so uh, the browser automatically or the react js application automatically uh, makes it unique to the other applications classes so that is basically the feature that's why i'm using it landing dot module dot css uh, styles is the name basically so i can use that if i do this uh, let me just check whether i have all the things yeah if I do that now uh, okay I also have to place the CSS code in here from the other file I'll be copying the CSS file and I'll be telling you everything about this CSS a little bit because this is not a CSS course so I'll not be writing the CSS again I'll be explaining you about the CSS you can see the CSS is there also this button is also not working like the CSS for this button 
because I have to copy the CSS from the app.js uh, app.css file as well so I can copy it in the app.css file so in this this basically I'm copying all the CSS which I need that's why I don't have to repeat everything we'll only be working on the functionality part so this is it and now if I see that so if I refresh it okay I have to also import it in app.js I think that's why it is not working app.css now it will work so now it should work if I refresh it yeah you can see it is working so now let's work on the navigation part I can copy the navigation again For navigation, what I can do is I can write navigation for now uh, as simply. Let me just explain this landing.js file. So basically, I have created a simple div. So one div is for the text which is written here. You can see this is the text, and the other one, the other div is for the image. So you can see this is the other div. We have the image. Inside that I am using the link component to add the links for the register page and the login page and I'm making it as a primary button and the secondary button and for that I have added the styling in here you can see so the uh, for the primary button I'm giving the background color text decoration anything you would like to add any kind of styling you want for the primary button you can do that also what you see here I have also created the global variable for colors so if I want to change uh, primary color to something else so I can do that so this is basically generally used so that's why I used this approach to create primary secondary and all the color schemes which I want to uh, like later if you want to change that theme of the color or theme of the page or the color scheme you can easily change it by changing the color here so it will be changed automatically in all the places which I'm in which I'm using this primary color so this is it and same for a secondary button I'm using so this is the secondary button and this is the primary button color and similarly I'm using the uh, landing page component styling as well so this this is basically the the styling for landing wrapper landing wrapper is the wrapper for this both divs so let me just make it inside this so you can distinguish between them so this is basically the landing uh, page wrapper so this is making it as display flex makes it in one line so they both are coming in one line side by side with the help of this display flex and I'm also adding flex wrap so if let's say the width of the screen is uh, smaller so it will automatically wrap this thing in the uh, like the image in the new line and I'm also giving margin top 100 pixel because you can see the navigation bar still uh, we didn't create that we didn't create that but uh, whenever I will be creating this so we need some space uh, for this landing page to be a little bit down because the navigation bar will have some space and that will be fixed navigation that's why and I can give a padding for styling and I'm giving the landing text wrapper so basically this this div is called landing text in which I have written this h1 heading and the primary text is this this text in which I have written the color so this where you see this uh, class name it should be a class name now that will work yeah so this primary text is basically the blue color and then I'm using the button wrapper to wrap these two buttons in one line and that's it yeah so no major thing is happening in here now I can simply uh, create the navigation component so for the navigation basically I've added the other fields uh, for example user and I'm checking the user is there or not then I'm using the drop down component from the and design but for now we'll be making it very simple we can just uh, copy this line and I'll be telling you how we'll be creating the navigation we'll just be copying and pasting the things and later we'll be changing the things right so let's say yeah we don't need these components for now because we haven't created our login and register screens so I can remove it uh, yep and 
yeah we also don't need this we also don't need this for now I just need three components at the header and for the active basically I'll be uh, grabbing this active from here so this is a prop basically which will which will be specifying whenever we will we'll be calling this navbar component in any in any other page so we can specify that active here I and I can specify which uh, is the current page that is or which is the current link that is active here so it will automatically make it that make that active so this is the basic navigation it will create a basic navigation bar if I save this file and you can see it is nothing but the uh, simple ULLI and then inside that we have created this link component also I have to import the logo so I can import the logo so logo is from our assets folder we have three images in the assets folder uh, it should be in assets and then inside that we have logo dot png if I save it so our navigation will be completed you can see our navigation is completed uh, login page register page so these are the links for the pages you can see that and we have also the uh, okay wait okay so it is having some problem let me just fix it okay it should go to register yeah I think it might also be having in here then yeah it should be register so it is the problem in here as well so register it should go to the register page which is this one and this is the login page so let me just make you uh, go over through the styling a little bit so the styling of this navigation I have created the styling inside the global page which is this app.css because we'll be using in multiple pages uh, although we can use a uh, module.css for this as well uh, but I have created app.css for this so in here we have this nav comp uh, nav element basically so this is the nav element this one and in that I have added the styling for example position fix to make the navigation bar fixed at the top so it, it will be fixed at the top and then we have given top 0 left 0 z index 100 to make everything at the top so nothing will come over this uh, navigation bar width should be 100% background color I have given white so by default it is white but let's just give that and we have given the box shadow box shadow is nothing but this shadow you see here this is the shadow and we have this display flex uh, align item center justify content space between and then padding left why am I doing this because I want the this div and this ul div ul div is, div is for basically the link and this div is for the uh, logo wrapper basically the, these two are coming separately right so this is here and you can see links are here at the right and there there is a big gap between them and that gap is coming because of this uh, this uh, line of code these four lines or these three lines basically are giving that thing to it so display flex is making them uh, come in the one line and align item center making them vertically center so basically they will not be coming like top they should not be top at, and they should not be at the bottom they will be vertically aligned in the center and justify content space between allows them to uh, be separated and the gap between uh, them will be there so this gap is coming because of the uh, justify content space between and so these links will be always be separated with this logo wrapper and for this logo wrapper I have styled them so like this logo wrapper is the wrapper for this div for this div you can see logo wrapper and inside that we have image and then we also have this heading 4 this heading 4 is also styled so this this is made as display flex the logo wrapper and then they are made align item center so vertically center so you can see the text and the logo image is vertically in center and uh, the width of the image should be 
30 pixel because we want the logo to be smaller not the original size what it has and the h4 or the text which is dodo which is uh, it, it is also style so font weight and margin margin I have given because by default heading 4 gets some margin so I'm removing that margin so it doesn't have uh, the extra spaces at the bottom so to do that I have given this font family I have given Arial, Helvetica, Sans Serif so these are fallback font families so if this doesn't work in any browser so it will work and if this doesn't work then this will work so Arial is the font family you can also use that and then we uh, come to the navigation menu which is this one this one you will uh, the class for this you will and in that we have given the styling position relative because we want everything to be aligned in this around this uh, navigation menu wrapper and then we have given it to display flex justify content space between all the styling that you are like that you know very well right so a list style uh, none is basically to remove the bullet points from the li basically that is for that and padding right to rem is for this so you can see uh, it is having the right padding of to rem just like uh, this uh, wrapper is also having the padding left to rem similarly i'm giving the padding left to rem to it and then uh, comes the styling for the li uh, the li doesn't have the much styling but the a has or the link bit inside this uh, this automatically renders as a tag so you don't have to worry about that this is link and we are styling it as a so it doesn't uh, matter basically so it renders as a so we are styling the a and we are giving this styling which is text decoration and to uh, remove the underline display block uh, relative and then uh, margin and other padding we are giving to it and then we are also making the color to be a little bit darker gray and then we are adding the hover color not at the active nav active nav means which is active so for now this is active so you can see hover hover of the text is not like hover of the background and uh, the text color is not coming on this element because it is active nav class it is having the active nav class why because we have made a check here that if uh, the active prop which is this is home then you have to add the class which is active nav otherwise you don't have to add any other class because i'm not using any other thing here so if the active nav is home then you have to add the active nav class so that that we provided in the landing uh, th this comes as home so that's why it is giving us this class so this rendered and uh, this is having the uh, active nav class and that's why it is not having the background uh, uh, like the color text color is changing because background color I have given active nav as the same while hovering when we hover so the same background color is given to active navigation item and then that's it uh, the other things we don't need to discuss because these are other stylings you can know by yourself like by watching the code you can understand what the styling is so this is it for this video I hope you got something and we did it uh, with the help of the code I have already created and now we just need to understand what it does so let's move in the next video we'll be creating the login and register page and styling them let's meet in the next video thank you for watching